the US Open Series is the ideal first Warhammer tournament, and here's why. Now, many of you longtime viewers might be very familiar with my stance on tournaments and competitive play and chasing the meta and all of that, but I do have a passion for competitive play. I used to take part in a lot of tournaments back in the day, and this is intriguing. I'm it's piquing my curiosity, um, you know, and basically they basically lay it out in this article that, um, you know, it's, it's really for a, any skill level and by the sounds of it in the article, uh, you know, it, it sounds pretty darn good and it's kind of, you know, like for especially some of the old cats like myself that, uh, have been out of the, uh, competitive scene, hardcore, um, you know, kind of dipping our toes back in as it were. And this kind of event, it, it, it does intrigue me. And also, uh, events like Adepticon and, you know, Nova Open, LVO, and, uh, what's the other big one? There's another big tournament. Anyway, um, you know, I, man, I, this US Open, I mean, like, it's interesting. And I kind of like how they're talking about how, um, the ranking works and so you know give this article a bit of a, a read here and yeah um basically here let's just run down through it uh basically there's brackets where everybody falls in essentially if you go four no then you're gonna face other four no players if you're oh and four you're gonna face other oh and four players and i think that's pretty darn cool and of course uh there are various uh prizes and such for those levels and i think that's pretty cool and this is for what age of sigmar warhammer 40k and i think it's probably for a whole bunch of other games as well uh looks like there's also some hobby classes and such which is pretty darn cool and uh you know i mean like i enjoy these events which is why i've always enjoyed going to adepticon because you know you get to live and breathe you know, wargaming, miniature wargaming for a few days, day, two days, whatever the case may be. And, you know, I, I do enjoy it myself. And, you know, again, like I said, I'm usually not that big into competitive play, but, you know, this is the kind of thing that might draw me back into this kind of stuff. Uh, unfortunately, though, the first one coming up is in May and it's in Seattle. That's a bit of a trek for me to go all the way across the continent, because I live in North America. Um, go across the continent just to get my butt kicked. And San Diego. Again, across the continent, get my ass kicked. Uh, Chicago, a little bit closer. It's a little bit closer. It's October. There's a possibility. There's a possibility. I am considering attending El our, um, Nova Open this year. Uh, this year of 2022. And so, yeah, um, making the trip in October might not be too bad an idea either. Of course, there's the Kansas City, and there's also uh, the Grand Narrative and U.S. Open final, final, Finale uh, in 2022 in New Mexico. And New Mexico would be kind of cool as well, make the trip down there. Uh, I say down there because I'm in Canada, and, you know, uh, it's a bit of a trek. But, yeah, I don't know, I... Uh, is there, is there any plans to do these kinds of things in Canada? Is there enough of a population of tournament go-getters in Canada? Because I'm sure at the, many of these events, uh, we're going to get a mix of many people from all over the place making the trek to these events. And, you know, doing the Seattle one would be really, really fun. Uh, unfortunately, though, you know, I mean, it's across the continent. And, you know, do I really feel like taking, you know... Uh, a 10 hour plane ride, uh, just to get my ass handed to me at the tabletop. You know, I don't know if my fragile little ego can take that because <laughs> it is pretty fragile. I'm, I'm a very fragile individual and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but yeah, Chris is, Chris is not very uh, thick skinned. He's uh, very thin skinned and I'm more likely to flip the table. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of a let the Wookiee win kind of situation. And so, yeah, I'm sure many of you out there are just itching to get out there and you know test your your metal against other you know competent players and you know i again like i i get it i do get the competitive streak it's just kind of like painting as well and again i think many of you uh know my stance on a lot of these kind of competitive type things but yeah i don't know um man 
It's, should I? Chicago, should I attend? Because that's the closest one to me, is Chicago. And should I attend? Should I go? Should I make plans? I was planning on going to Nova, but should I attend this event instead of Nova? Ooh, that's the question. I think, you know, I mean, Chris is not made of money. Unless y'all want to send Chris money. But, you know, Chris is not really out there uh, with a sign, you know, uh, on the street corner going, need money for Adepticon or uh, Nova Open or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling at this point, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. And I kind of wish there was more events in Canada because that's where I live. And maybe there will be. I don't know. I guess maybe if there's enough uh, interest in events happening in Canada that will get events in Canada. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, if you want to help Chris, no. So let me know down below if you think I should be attending more of these competitive type events because I am no stranger to them. I'm no stranger to them. I've I've lost plenty of tournaments in the past. I think I've only ever come in first like once or twice in my wargaming lifespan. And again, I've been playing actively since the uh, early 90s. I've been really heavy. I started in this hobby like in 88, but I didn't get really heavy into it until like the early 90s. Like it was like 92, 93 when, you know, we really built up a community in my town. And yeah, it was really good times. And I really kind of missed that, that camaraderie that came with this kind of stuff. And also, you know, uh, shit talking each other as well. I, I, I'm okay with, you know, the banter back and forth and yeah, I don't know. I do sometimes miss it. I do miss the challenge. I don't really chase the meta though. I don't, you know, I don't really get worked up about, you know, OP combos and, uh, you know, nerfs and things of that nature. It, it's all, you know, part and parcel for this, uh, kind of hobby that we're all in that we all love we all love it god help us we love it